Hey everyone, today we've got the Google 30 watt USB C power charger. This costs $45. Uh, the one with the cable costs $59, but I just got a third party cable for $5 um, off eBay. Now, apparently, according to Google, this charger delivers up to 66% more power to USB C devices than the previous gen 18 watt USB C charger. So you can charge on the go and for your Google devices and any third party USB C devices. Uh, input is 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. Uh, the output, so over power delivery, it's 20 volts uh, at 1.5 amps, 15 volts at 2 amps, uh, 5 volt, 9 volt at 3 amps, PPS at 21 volts uh, at um, 1.5 amps, 11 volts at uh, 3 amps. Max power is 30 watts. The dimensions are about 6.8 by 4.3 by 2.7 uh, centimeters. If you get the one with the cable, the cable is one meter long. Weight is 71 grams, color is white. Materials are polycarbonate, 50% uh, post-consumer recycled material, and the port is USB-C. So now, why don't I get this charger? Well, I do have my original 18 watt charger from my Google Pixel 2, but I did read that um, this would charge slightly faster. And I was anyway in the market for a new charger as well because I have one that's uh, beside my bed, which is the 18 volt because I have more time to charge on that. But uh, I bought this one spe specifically for on the go because it charges quicker. So that does make a difference for me and I'm willing to pay more for that and also to get something like something like this to, to go with it. So if it charges faster, I have my study room and my phone's ready to go because when you're sleeping, you're not really waiting to use it. So it doesn't matter how long it takes to charge, as long as it's charged before you wake up. Um, but this one's just good to, good to have. Um, but again, if that doesn't matter to you, then you're probably just better off just using 18 volt. I was tempted to use um, third party chargers, but I didn't really want to take the risk. Um, and also this one was at a pretty good price anyway. It was pretty similar. Um, so yeah, um, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, again, I would just uh, I'll just get the one without the cable because uh, you can always just get good quality cables off eBay, and they're gonna you're gonna need more cables anyway because they have wear and tear. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.